I want to be very clear. The economic policies should not make, should not make us forget or disjump a third priority, priority, the strengthening of national unity. At present, we bear witness of the existence of not only a dual economy, that is, of driving of thriving sectors and other ones that have fallen behind. But as, but as a result of such, there is also, there is also a, fragmented, so, a fragmented society at both socioeconomic and regional levels between the North and the South. In order to decrease such deficiencies, the role of the government is essential. The state must be the great promoter and regulator of the efficient operation of the markets. In summary, the facilitator of our, develop of our development processes. Rich and developed zones with high standards of living coexisting with depressed regions in extreme poverty with a worrying marginalization is no longer acceptable because this scenario generates distrust, ungovernability, and delinquency. The objective is that the development and strengthening of markets may spread all over the national territory by creating opportunities for everyone. In other words, we must be able to build and boost a policy of comprehensive development on the territory, where the investment in infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure may be the trigger of a buoyant domestic market that complements our exporting sector.